don't know if I'm going to be able to get them trained up enough. I'll tell you what I can also do. We've got the Legion of Marit. Oh, shit. Right. Cavalry stop training. I can see what's coming on in the background here. This is it. So we got this one. Um, now, this is an option where, if you wanted to, you can give up Danzig. The German Reich has long publicised their goal of reclaiming the territories they lost in the Great War. In particular, they looked to the territory of Danzig, which separates Ostprussian, or East Prussia, uh, from the rest of their nation. Now they have demanded that Danzig be ceded to the German Reich, and in exchange offer nothing but a promise to waive their claims on Poznan. With the threat of war looming, accepting the offer will delay a possible conflict, but at the cost of freely granting the Germans more strength for whatever lies ahead. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to save the game at this point. Because I'm not playing Iron Man for this. And I, the reason I've stopped playing Iron Man's for when I'm recording for you guys is in case something goes wrong with the save or the recording and then I can't get back to redo it for you. So that's, that's the only reason. But we're going to call this Before Danzig. And it's something that we could go back to and change. Because what happens... Save that. What happens if you see Danzig is the Germans get a corridor here that connects this. But they don't go to war with you. And there's a chance that they, they, they might never go to war with you. The, the USSR will still cut. This is on historical settings, of course. But we're playing... We're, we're going for the historical options. And Poland is going to tell Germany where to go. And Danzig will remain Gdansk. And as soon as I start that timer, or tomorrow, it's going to kick off. <laughs> so let me make sure that these guys are okay. Let me just delete this, these lines here. So the units are in position. I don't want those lines to move. I don't want units shuffling about anywhere. They are where they need to be now. So straight away, these guys going over western Poland. They're up, up and away. We're not on pause. Uh, let's see, what's the situation with this? We have, we've really upset the high Senation right. And in 60 days, nope, nope, that's going to kick off. That was so well timed. Uh, he's going to kick off again in one day, but that's okay, because then we can sideline him again if we have to. <laughs> Holy crap. That could have been game-changing there. Uh, that could have gone, gone really bad. So we're going for the left chairman. So this is, this is going to upset the right again, so we need to trigger that political option. This is a 70-day one. Um... It gets rid of the left opposition altogether. It's okay. And then by that point, we go on to this and this. And I think we'll be okay. So that's the, that's the next one. And we need to... Oh, God. Let's hope. Let's hope we can pull this off. Right then. Wish me luck. We're going in. And we're in. Poland has called the United Kingdom's ally in the German-Polish war. Excellent. Pause. So they, they're coming in straight away. What we absolutely have to do now is get... Uh, I need to apply some heavy... heavy pressure there. Unfortunately, my cavalry is not quite ready to go in. Do you know what? Maybe, maybe what I'll do is I'll just stop the infantry until we are all ready to go. We're holding in this side. I think what we're going to do is... What's our stock of these tank destroyers? 38. So all I can do is add... I can I can add one unit. Um, they're attacking down here. I, I think we can probably hold down here. Don't know. These guys are more in the open, so I'm going to change one 
can't actually do this, can I? Because I'm going to be short of it. Right then, come on, Britain. Come on, France. This is your opportunity to make up for, for past failures. Not going well in China, apparently. Invite to faction. Oh, was I not already in the faction? Non-aggression pact. Well, that's, that's gone now. Okay, this is going green, which is, like, super important. I think I've spotted an error here. Let's get one division over there. And I'm tempted to throw the cavalry in right away. But I'm going to throw them in there. No, it's gone. That's gone. Uh, this might be a case of uh, just instantly pull back. I've got nothing in Warsaw at the moment. Right, those those now are winning. Can I throw the cavalry in there? And if I want to throw those guys in as well. It's not looking convincing, that. Now, the cavalry got kicked out because they're just not up to that job yet. Uh, it lo I think we're probably going to lose this. Should I work on the assumption that we're going to lose this? Yeah, we're going to attack from all sides. Let's pull out of Gdansk. It's going to go. We, we can't hold that. Is there an opportunity anywhere to go through here? There might be. Hang on. Expand the northern rail. Was that just bypassed? I think that was just bypassed. Yeah, we're still we're still going down this this option here. Uh, lend lease. We don't have we don't have um, any factories, uh, any any convoys that can bring anything in from there. Trade's now going to be a huge issue, surely. I did get those divisions out of there, which is something, but they're going to be cut off. We've got to retreat. Um, we can't do much about this. I think I'm going to lose four divisions here. Yeah. Okay. So we couldn't hold up there. The big question is, can we hold on the front line here? And I've got to say, I think the answer is a resounding no. It's this, this army needs to then stop training. We've got some success going off up there. At least the cavalry didn't get caught out of this. So I can get the cavalry out of there and we can just pull back. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to have some aggressive force ready to go in over here. Uh, this has gone bad already. This has gone very bad already. They're in the forts down here. I don't think this, this strategy is going to work. Can't see this working. Um, we need to think where we can pull back to here. I mean, this hasn't kicked off yet. I could bring this army over. Damn it, we've just lost too many places. So you guys are gonna I'm gonna have to draw this in. I don't want you doing the whole thing. And they're already pulling out of there. Uh the sensible thing is for me to go and then it's gonna be to pull back here, but I'm not known for doing the sensible thing. Also, we have made we have made some progress here. So the cavalry is dropping back. We're going to have to drop back behind this river, aren't we? We're not going to hold. Well, actually, maybe we will. Just stop. Just stop. We shall reduce the panicking. I 
I think we might have to hold that one. What we need to make sure is they don't get to Warsaw. If they get to Warsaw, then it's 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 over. They're coming in over there. I need to bring this army in. The trouble is, I know the Soviets are coming. Did we get... Um... No, we have gone on the offensive over here. So we've taken a, a, a little bit of positioning. I think it's time to pull back behind that river. I honestly do. Right. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Knowing that the Soviets are coming. Watch those. I would love to throw this army in over here. We're going to have to do the full sit back and defend here. Because I, I can't see any other way of this working now. So let me draw in a, a fallback line. Across like that. Um, we're kind of holding positions here, but it, it, it's it's going to go. It is going to go. Marsh. I would like to fall back to um, here. <laughs> Let's get right on top of the river. Double up in that place there, and let's 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 get rid of that. And the cavalry, which is doing a good job at the moment of just trying to hold off. We're just going to give our fellas time to, to relocate. We're going to hold that position there. Let these guys come out. One of the things I'm, I'm worried about is this going. So this southern army. Let's draw. We're going to have to get the front lines drawn in here. But I don't want to lose this place. I think I've already lost it, haven't I? I think it's, I'm going to have to say it's, it's gone, probably. We're getting awfully close to Warsaw here. We need to get our armies back. And we just need to accept that this is what it is. Meanwhile, the last thing we need now is a flipping rebellion. What's the situation there? Sideline the right. Uh, the left irritation is fine. 150 days, that's that's fine. We've, we've got time on that. Lend lease from British Malaya. I mean, I, I could, but uh, the, the convoys aren't going to be able to get through, so... Oh, I've got nothing... I don't have any division set to this line. That's why they're not going back. So make sure that's on there. And this army in the south needs to make... Oh, God, it's split up. Yeah, here come the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union are now questioning. Can we get... What do we need at this point? Infantry equipment. I don't care it's taking 200 days. We need a head start. Uh, I think... I think this army... It's time to draw in the front line here. Uh, why? Oh, because it goes into across another country. I hate that. I absolutely hate that. So let's just delete that. And I think all I can do is draw in a fresh defense line. We're going to have to pull back a bit. But I do want to hold those mountain forts if I can. Meanwhile, for these guys... Make sure we occupy that. This this looks like a, a dead loss, doesn't it? Let's just... Mind you, they are winning there at the moment. Are our armies going to get back to here? That is the question. Also, for you guys... I, th I have a horrible feeling we're going we're gonna to drop here. <laughs> Uh, 
the level three forts probably aren't going to be enough to do this. Just that German aggression. Right, excellent. So we've got something going on. That line can stop there. Let the Germans try and come over the river. That's that's going to be my my best bet. There's no point doubling up down here, so let's just take this and just shorten that by one one thing like that. This is a desperate, desperate, desperate defense. Joseph Stalin is questioning the motives of Poland. Yes, those evil Poles. Right, did I get the cavalry out is another question. The cavalry is out. So we've got the opportunity to counterattack should we wish to. At the moment we're trying to repair things. What I need to do is try and get some forts built in Warsaw uh, with four civilian factories. So the market... Oh, let's, let's change that now because can we cancel these deals? Cancel the contracts because um, we're not going to get anything else in through there. That was on the buying equipment, wasn't it? So we, we should get those back. Yeah, so now at least we can try and get this built. But if it falls back any further than this, I fear things are gone. So that's why we're going to be sending in the cavalry down here. We're busy defending, currently. It's crumbling so fast. I have a lot of divisions on this side, but they are desperately digging in, expecting the dreaded USSR to come along. No, no, no. They're retreating into there. That was quite the plan. Finland rejects Soviet demand. Well, Finland's going to war as well, then. I, I can't see us holding that. I can't see us holding this. What's happening with the air power? We are absolutely knackered over here. We have 87 aircraft in the skies. Actually, we have a lot more because there's a load of Allies stuff coming in. Yeah, it's, we, we can't do that. I didn't build any anti-aircraft guns. And that is making a huge difference. Did we actually get the radar? Because I'm building a fort in Warsaw, but I think if the rest crumbles, then it's, it's pointless. So we, we do at least have that. So I tell you what, let's, for what difference it's going to make now, let's try and, and help with that. Okay, so the blue division, or the blue army, I should say, which has retreated over here. Hang on, we've got some, we do have some, we can put this in. Infantry division attack. I'll go for ambusher for max entrenchment. And his new front line, I'm going to draw this in. And I don't like it when they start shuffling divisions around. And then we're going to delete that fallback line. And then make sure that all divisions are set to that. All 17 divisions. I didn't recruit those extra divisions, did I? So we've got all these coming on, which we're never going to get these. Let's let's just put this... Yeah, it's putting it back into the manpower pool. It's equipment that we're not going to get in there. I think that's going to be the issue. The question is, can we hold? Can we hold? People are definitely trying. Can I try and take the, the pressure off here? By doing that. If I had mountain divisions and troops designed to be offensive, I think this might work, but I highly doubt. Look at the defense. That's not going to work, is it? I'm just going to weaken myself. Um, I can't select them to halt. Halt. I, 
can't select the damn things. Stop it's it. Adventure! I've got... I can't select these. Right, halt. Yeah. I knew these, this division template was never going to be any good for attacking with. We're into Warsaw here. <laughs> They've got... I mean, this was always a, a weaker area. I was hoping the forts would hold them. We've just we've just got nothing. This is the, this is the problem. There's six divisions in there, and we just can't get them sorted out. Let me just retreat the cavalry out. Give them time to rest, and see if I can come back with an attack. Well, this army's not getting involved. It's just not. And this is looking like being a... a whitewash, isn't it? We haven't capitulated yet, though. We're in an ever-shrinking ring, but we haven't capitulated yet. Alright, so where's my... my cavalry is now on the front line. This was not part of the plan. Germans have had to stop there, which is which is good news. But we're just uh, we're just defending, and I don't see that there's much else I can do. Let me left chairman's gonna oh 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 okay interesting. Two days, and then I can sideline the right and avoid a civil war. So I feel it's coming. We can do this. Right. We can go... What's that giving me? That's giving me entrenchment speed and max entrenchment. I'm going to go with this because that's a huge bonus. I did want to switch over to superior firepower. But the max entrenchment is probably it. This one's going to give me... This one's not going to give me much at all. But the one I want is this one, which is defense and organization. So, unlock. Everything that can just help might be enough. So they've declared war on Finland, which is no great surprise. The end of the League of Nations. Yeah, that's sadly, that's, that's, it's basically like an early version of the UN, sort of. Uh, that's not going to work. Sideline the right again. Now that's really inflamed the left, but the right's gone down a little bit. Okay, now this, this is where we have to be careful here, because there's a chance that we're going to end up with a broken front line. So Poland is shrinking! But if we can hold Warsaw, and it seems very unlikely that we will, but if we can... I'm just going to put my cavalry divisions in there for the time being because they can ride in and help defend. They're engaged on the other flank now. We have Spitfires over here. We have some allied air support. But I, I can't see this. I can't see this holding now. So trying to hold the mountains. I thought the mountain forts, I thought they'd hold. I thought those infantry templates would be good enough to hold there. So we've got that. We're still trying to sort out our government. Do you know what? We might go into exile. We'll have to see what that does. Common organisation of society. Do that. At this point, we've now got... Um... So the left is gone. And these are upset. Just make sure this is going to... It's not going to upset anyone. Thing, we've got time to do this. Yeah, if we focus... We've just got time to do this. If we focus on that. Right, so... That's all that's left of Poland. I mean, it's been a desperate defence. We've lost 204,000 men. The enemy have lost more. It's just such a shame. All that planning... So what could I have done a bit differently? And let's 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 not just say 
I mean, things aren't written off just yet. See if I can get across there. Supplies are bad. We have the recon company, which is sadly going to be too little too late. Can we get to 1940, though? We have held longer than, uh, than Poland did historically, which is good. It would be awesome if something had happened over here, but the French won't go over the border there because these are, these are, I think these are fortified areas. Slightly. So the French could. I mean, they're our ally. We could request an expeditionary force. No, we can send one. Hmm. Yeah, and it's, it's a shame. It's a shame that Germany hasn't already gone in here and here, because then that would draw these guys into a fight. And that would take a whole load of pressure off us, because we're going to get... Actually, we're not going to get a whole load of pressure, because the Soviet Union isn't coming, because Germany's in the way. And if Germany spreads its forces out around here, do you know what? It, it might just be possible that we hold on to this. Okay, so we, we need to put our points in where we can. Uh, ambusher, absolutely for the extra entrenchment. Whether it's enough. Whether we can make this work. We're getting cut off in the south here. I'm thinking reduce the... Fr oh, God, we've got a mess. We've got a horrible mess. Right. Uh, pause, 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 pause. It's these fallback lines. I wish you could actually draw a front line. If I could change one thing about this game, it would allow you to take an army and draw a front line that expanded across two different nations because it doesn't let you do it. I don't know if there's a mod that lets you do it because that would be worth looking at. But these guys... Um, we need, we absolutely need this now. This is, this is kind of critical. Uh, I'm going to, I can't draw it in there, as you can see. Okay, I guess we're going to have to let that last one go. And we're going to get rid of that fallback line there. And it says no divisions. Oh, it says no divisions. Get rid of that. Put them in there. Uh, yes, we've got a problem. We have a, a massive, massive problem here. We need to buy some time. Otherwise, that's going to be lost. Where'd my cavalry end up? We've got four divisions. Put them back in Warsaw. I don't mind this lot. If they have to withdraw out of here, they have to withdraw. We need to get something in there. You're not going that way. I don't know where you're, you think you're going, but you're not going that way. <laughs> you're just not. And I still can't draw a front line in for this army, sadly. Poland's getting smaller and smaller, isn't it? The manpower. Okay, so the manpower we can actually help. We're not getting any new divisions. In fact, we don't need new divisions. Uh, yeah, well, let's get rid of these other ones. I'll maybe keep two, but this should free up some equipment and certainly manpower for us. Because we, we just need to basically maintain what we've got here. Why is this guy going over there? Where's he want to go to? He wants to go to... He wants to go to here? How... What the flying... F is that all about? Um... I'm going to put him in... He is in another army. Okay, I'm going to put him into that army and halt. And then they can redeploy him as they want, but he's, he's not going over there. I, I don't see why that was a thing. What are we producing now? We're producing anti-aircraft. Actually, we might be producing it in a region where it's just not needed and can't. We can produce some here and we can produce some here. Uh, the forts over Poland. Let's be honest, that's probably not going to get to be built because of the situation 
uh, the constant attacks on Warsaw. So, and now we're losing convoys. Actually, there's, there's all trade is off. So, there's nothing being traded, is there anymore? Let's say, let's send that. And we'll just have a look at our military factories because we, we can't trade. That was tungsten. As far as I know, well, we have this. Do we have a trade route coming through there? I'm going to cancel it anyway. Let's have a look at the production. It's a big fat non, which is quite understandable because we don't have any of those factories left. Uh, and we're short of infantry equipment. Oh, that's, that is maybe for upgrading. Right, let's put that over there. Let's take two out, so at least we get something going in here to try and increase that. Uh, I'd say probably artillery. Let, let's reduce those. We'll keep one ticking over. Artillery, anti-air. Can we put one in aircraft? No, we're, we're, we're done there. At that point, we're done. We could try building more. All right, I need Germany to make a mistake now. This, this, is, this is my thinking. Uh, let's let's see how this goes. All is not yet lost, but I will admit it is not far from being lost. Yeah, we weren't able to 